Hey guys, it's Fluctuate Edits or Fluxy here. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how I do my bullet sync. Um, I know everyone has their own way of doing this. I'm just going to show you a couple ways that I do mine. So, I already got started. I went ahead and created a new comp, uh, 59 frames per second. And I just named it Type 1 because this is the first way that I do my bullet sync. Um, this way is a lot easier and a lot cleaner if your clips are not very good quality. Uh, this is the way I recommend, but the other way is a bit more advanced and can look a little bit better. So we'll show you that in a couple of minutes here. So first of all, I imported my song, and I'll just play it for you guys quick. So it's just basically like that, it's got a nice little beat. So what I do, before I do anything, I go ahead and place markers where I want my shots to be. And I figured out it's, I want to start here. So I just drag my little, little marker thing from here and I hold shift to lock onto the red line. And then I just place a marker every time I want a shot. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Let's do that many for now, that's all we need. So then I am going to import my clip. Um, my clip matches the frame rate, 59.94, you can see up here. I'm going to show you guys a tr quick little trick. If it doesn't match, if this said 29.97, before you import it into your comp, you want to right click on it, go to interpret footage, main, and then if this says 29.97, you want to change it to 59.94 and then hit OK. So it'll kind of fake it into being 60 frames per second. Um, it helps a bit, but it's still not real 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to drag my clip on here. Alright, so I just want to find where my clip starts. We'll start right there, and then we'll cut it, Alt and beginning bracket. And we will just drag it right to the beginning here. And just to make it look nice, I'll add a nice little opacity fade. And you just press T to get that. So, all right. So first things first, we want to right click, time, enable time remapping. Um, this basically lets you shorten or stretch or speed up clips without using Twixter. Um, it just uses the basic frame rate. So this is pretty much just going to be a tutorial on how to do this. So what we do, we go to... Actually, I'm going to make my first shot right here. It'll make it a little bit easier. Alright, so what we're going to do, go right, hold shift, lock on to your, uh, your first marker where you want the shot to be. And then what you do, you your time remap should already be keyframed, but you can drag this up and down so you can see where the shot's going to be. So I want my so what you do you set it right the frame right before where he scopes in. So right there he scoped in, so I go right there. And then what you do you move one keyframe over. Uh, you can hold control and press arrow or just click this and then drag this up until the frame after he's done scoping so like right there so now you can see what this looks like if I just quick pre-under here so then it'll just look, look like this See, and you can see the shots perfectly synced with this the beat. So now what I do, I like to move ahead about halfway between your two frames. So let's go right here, and I have to drag this down until the bottom of his out oh, of his down scope. So I go right about there, and then I move ahead a couple frames, and then I go until where he starts scoping in, 
right about there. And what I'm doing, I'm just dragging this up and down to change the time. And then I snap over to this frame, or to this marker where my next shot is going to be. And I find the frame right before he scoped in. So right about there. Move one frame over, find the frame after he's done shooting. So I'll go right there. Alright, now same thing, halfway, change the time down until he's done scoping, move over a couple frames, and we'll go to where he starts scoping, and go to the first frame, move one frame over, this frame. I realize I do miss a shot here, but whatever, doesn't matter. Go here, change it to where he's done scoping, couple frames over. It's a lot of repetitive work, but in the end it looks really sick. And it looks way better if it's 60 frames per second too. One frame over, right there. Scope out, couple frames over there, scope in, actually I'm gonna move these over here, and to this marker, frame before he scopes in, one frame over, next frame, make sure you can see the scope and make sure it's not like a frame like this. It's like kind of weird because it'll look kind of funky. So make sure you can actually see the full scope. And then halfway. Scope out. Couple frames over. Scope in. Snap to your marker. Hold shift. Frame before. And frame after. And then at the end of this clip you can add a twixter to make this slow down. But I'll just make it slow down like we have been. Alright, so now so basically this is syncing, you don't even need to listen to the music really. And I'll just give this a quick pre-render for you guys. Um the audio will be off, so I'm just because you're stretching it out pretty much. So I'll just whoops. So I'll just give you guys a quick pre-render here. And this is what I do this in a lot of my edits. Um, it's pretty simple compared to Twixter. Twixter, you have to mess with all your settings and whatnot. But here we'll give we'll watch it. There, pretty good. Looks awesome. And then you can just add your gun sounds, whatnot. Add your color corrections and you pretty much have an edit right there.